Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And I found this story rather disturbing. Um, now, it's about Police Scotland, but to be honest, I think it could apply to just about any police force in Britain at the moment because of the politics and the optics and the fact that policemen are shit scared of one particular group. But when one individual assaults another individual and a policeman is called and the person who does the assault is there and the victim of the assault is there and the policeman does nothing and then the policeman is shown video evidence of the assault and the victim is sporting a black eye so actual bodily harm the policeman should arrest that person should take that person down to the station arrest them charge them and have them up in front of the magistrates at some point in the near future to be suitably punished. However, this is not what happens when the person doing the assaulting, the person who raises his hands to a woman is trans and the victim is someone who is against trans. Someone who says that women will be women and that no man can ever be a woman. And the police, typical of their kind, their spineless kind, their lack of balls, decide that they're not going to charge someone who commits an actual bodily harm. What kind of world are we living in when it seems that women can now be freely beaten in the street without repercussion? That's the official line of Police Scotland. So officially, I suppose officially, given that they are at the beck and call of the SNP, it's also the SNP's line. Well, we know that they are very soft on crime and that you can do the most awful things to children and basically walk free from court. So what does it matter if a man beats a woman? That's Scotland for you, where no woman is now safe. That's official. Let's have a look at this story. Now, before I do get into the story properly, I just want to make something absolutely clear. I know from the data I get back on my viewers that my viewers are predominantly men, like 90% men. And I'd like to reassure any women who watch, uh, well done, thank you very much for watching. But please be aware that had I been at this event, that, that assault would not have gone unanswered. And I'm pretty sure that the 90% of my audience who are men who are watching this video will also think the same as I, let us put it that way, that had they been there, that woman would not have been assaulted or had, or had she been assaulted, she would not have been the only one to be assaulted. Now, when you see the picture of the people who are doing these things, let me tell you, I daren't start punching them because I don't know if I could ever stop. But we will get into it now. But it is completely unacceptable for a man to hit a woman, even if that man is pretending that he is also a woman. He's a coward. He's an inadequate, tiny, cocked coward. So we'll have a look to see what's going on. So police, and the real problem is the police, of course. But anyway, Police Scotland refuses to back down amid row about an Aberdeen gender critical protest assault. The Women Won't Wish to Campaign uh, group, the Women Won't Wish campaign group, should I say, blasted the police force over its handling of an assault during a protest in Aberdeen on Sunday. And these were the counter protesters. You have these women that are there saying, no, we will not shut up just because you want us to, just because you weirdos, you mentally ill weirdos want women to go away and not exist as women, we're not going to do that. We're going to stand up for our rights and our freedoms and our very existence. And well done, girls. Congratulations. I applaud you. I'm with you. I stand with you. I don't stand with that bunch of weirdos. And they keep going, oh, trans rights are human rights. Yeah, you don't need trans rights because you've got human rights. You tell me what one right that I have, that any woman has, that you don't have. Apart from the right to assault, the right to expose yourself, your male genitals to women. That's all you want. But what right other than that do you have that we don't? Or what right do we have that you don't? Exactly. There isn't one. Bunch of weirdos. 
Anyway, Police Scotland have insisted that they have dealt with an assault at a gender critical protest in Aberdeen, what they call the right way, which is to let the man off. Uh, this is following complaints over the force's conduct. Officers did not charge a man, and they've used in the paper who allegedly attacked a woman. They showed him the evidence and the woman's got the black eye, so there's nothing alleged about it. The man beat a woman and the police did nothing. So the police's official line now is, it's okay, go on. When did you stop, beat your, stop beating your wife? Well, I haven't. I'm still doing it. It's perfectly acceptable and legal, apparently. Anyway, uh, they, they were accused of inaccuracy over claims that the victim had not suffered any injuries of, and of not taking violence against women seriously. Cops said the 54-year-old female had been involved in an altercation with a 26-year-old man and the man faced no further punishment, except for a warning. But both the Women Won't Wish campaign group who organised the rally in Duthie Park in Aberdeen and the former Scottish Police Federation General Secretary Callum Steele have criticised the actions of the force. And of course they have. It does not stand. No man should ever raise his hand to a woman. And that goes to show that these people are just tiny, inadequate, scared, craven wankers. And I'm talking about the police. They're craven. They dare not stand up to this lobby group of mentally ill wankers. If I'd have been there, the man that raised his hand to that woman would have needed hospital treatment. I wouldn't have stopped. Um, the victim of the assault, feminist campaigner Julie Marshall, claimed she was punched twice by a trans activist who showed up to attend the counter protest. She said she was very shaken up. Uh, and will have a very badly bruised arm and a black eye. I'm, I'm definitely not going to wish, she said. They can beat us and they can scream at us and they can call us names, but it only hardens our resolve. If you have to resort to physicality, to you then you have already lost. Well, they've already lost anyway. They're already losers in life. They're inadequate. They're mentally ill. You know, they're pretendy women. Look at us, women face. It's no different than wearing black face or yellow face. They wear women face. We need to make it up for what it is, inadequate wankers. And as we all know, probably sex attackers. Every single one of them has got a very high chance of being there. 10 times the national average. Keep saying it because it's true. Don't ever trust any of them. They, you have to keep asking, why do they want to get into where women and children are with their cocks? Oh, and look at me, look at me, I'm a lesbian now. Yeah, if you really want to be a woman, let's see how many times you'll take it, right? Not once, because you're not a woman, are you? Anyway, the video of the alleged attack, it's not alleged, the attack, has been recorded, with women won't wish pondering over whether to release it publicly. Please do. Please absolutely release it. They released a strongly worded statement, slating the reaction of officers. They wrote, we are disappointed that this unprovoked violent attack on a disabled woman and theft of our banner has only resulted in a caution, and we will be pursuing this further with Police Scotland. We were disappointed that the police informed the victim whilst taking a statement that it was unlikely the perpetrator would face charges. Well, you know, this is it. Gentlemen, if ever you're out and you see this kind of thing, don't let the police get away with it. If you see it, take the law into your own hands because the police aren't going to. And if the police aren't going to administer the law, it is up to the people to administer the law. Yes, it is like vigilante action. I suppose you could say so. But it's better that some punishment befits these people rather than none at all. We cannot allow this kind of thing, the physical beating of women, simply because this particular group seem to be protected by law. Well, they're not protected by law. Prove they're not women. Kick them in the fucking bollocks. And let's see how ladylike they go down. Anyway, I'm done because I'm getting angry and I'm going to stop. I really cannot stand this sort of thing, bullying, beating, and especially when, oh look, I'm a 26 year old man, I'm a strong physical man, I wear a skirt and I call myself Susan, but I'm still a strong physical man with a tiny, tiny penis, so I'm going to punch a disabled 54 year old woman just to prove how ladylike I am. Well, I'll prove how ladylike you are. I'll prove it. Angry again. Stop it. I apologise for getting angry, and I'm sure 
a lot of you can understand why I get angry about things like this. And if anyone had done that to my wife, I tell you what, the, you wouldn't be calling a policeman, you'd be calling an ambulance. It's, it, it's wrong, it's disgusting. And they, they want tolerance. Oh, tolerance, tolerance. You must tolerate us. And they've got zero tolerance themselves. Well, I've got zero tolerance for their bullshit. And I would absolutely just not stop until I was dragged off them. I'm 56, I'm an old boy, but I'm ex-army. I'm still a bit handy. I'm six foot one. You know, I won't put any of that shit. Might not be able to go on for too long. Get a bit of it out of puff. You know what it's like, lads. You're getting a bit on, you know. Getting a bit aged. But I tell you what, the old adrenaline would be up. Me dander would be up. I'd be like a tiger. I would. Anyway, I'm calming down again. I'll stop there. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And if you are also uh, the sort of person who doesn't like to see women being beaten in the street like this, please, God, step into their aid. They need it sometimes, especially against these wankers. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and let's keep the streets clean. Bye.